the number one Photoshop alternative is not GIMP. So which editing software do I recommend in place of Photoshop? Well, the answer isn't going to be one or two, but three different alternatives. And that's because I couldn't choose the number one alternative to Photoshop because we all have different needs and budgets. So I've compiled the three best alternatives to Photoshop and they all have 30 day free trials. So I've included the free download links in the description below. That way you can try them out before you buy and you can then decide which one is best for you. So the first obvious alternative to Photoshop is Lightroom, but for the purposes of these alternatives to Photoshop, I wanna get away from software that is subscription based. And I'm at a point in my life and career where I no longer believe in free software due to its numerous downsides. Now, if you're interested in only free editing software, this probably isn't the channel for you, but I also know many of you want to move on and upgrade from GIMP and at the same time, wish to avoid the evil empire known as Adobe because, well, you don't want to rent their software by paying a monthly fee. So the software I'm going to recommend does not require a subscription and the license you buy means you actually own it. Now with that in mind, a great alternative to Photoshop is Luminar Neo. Now I love Luminar for its simplicity and ease of use, but don't let that fool you since the power of Luminar Neo is due to its built-in artificial intelligence and you can only get the 30 day free trial with the link I've placed in the description below since it's not readily available directly from Luminar's website. So let's check out three or four of my favorite tools in Luminar that are not available in Photoshop. All right, so the first tool I wanna go over real quick is Noiseless Raw because it's going to enhance or remove that digital noise in your images unlike anything available in Photoshop. In fact, it's going to give you some advice here on where to start your digital noise reduction, in this case middle, because of the amount of noise in this particular image. And I had to shoot this at a very high ISO of 5000 because I was shooting in a low light situation and I needed a faster shutter speed because I was holding a very heavy lens when I was taking this photo. So once I click on middle here, it's going to analyze the image and begin removing that digital noise. And here is the before and after. How awesome is that? Now it's not perfect. I'm gonna have to come in here and adjust these sliders here in order to fine tune that particular noise reduction. We also have Sharpen AI here, which will sharpen your images based on artificial intelligence. And this next one I wanna share with you is unbelievable. I love the erase tool. Let's actually pick out another image here because this image here has a lot of dust spots. So if we take a look up here in the corner, we can see a lot of dust spots. There's actually more than that. If we take a look at the image in Lightroom where I did the edit originally, all these little icons are edits that I had to apply to remove those dust spots. There's tons of them. I think it took me like seven to 10 minutes or something like that to get rid of all these dust spots. But with Luminar, it's going to get rid of 95% of them with one click right here under objects removal. Once I click on remove dust spots, it's going to start looking for them and removing them. And boom, all those dust spots are completely gone. How awesome is that? I love it. Now it's not perfect because in situations like this where the dust spots have the same color and contrast as the water, we can see that there's a dust spot right here and it didn't pick that up, but I can just paint over it and then click on erase here and it will then remove that dust spot. So 10 times quicker, maybe 50 times quicker than Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw in this case. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and choose another image for this next set of editing tools that are awesome. So again, these tools are not directly available in Photoshop, but you can get the same results. It's just gonna take you 10 times longer versus what you can do in Luminar Neo. So under this panel here, under creative, we have a lot of editing tools to help you achieve your creative vision. So Relight will allow you to adjust the light in the foreground and the background. We have atmosphere, you can add fog, you can add a layered fog effect, mist or haze. 
we also have an option here to add sun rays if you didn't get a sun ray like I did here or a starburst like I did. So if I increase this, you can kind of see that and I can move this over here if the light is over here on this side. And then you can adjust the radius and do all kinds of different things to create the sun flare or the starburst effect that you want to create. Dramatic is going to add some contrast to your images and make it a little bit more dramatic as far as that contrast and the overall colors. So we can change the amount of contrast here. And let's see, we also have mood, which is kind of like presets. They're called LUTs. And we have cinematic toning, creative cross-processing portrait toning. And we have some other options down here as well. So the best thing to do is to download this and try it out for 30 days for free and see if this is something that you can use with your own images. So I'm not going to go through all of these right now. All right, so the next set of tools is down here under portrait, which will allow you to do some retouching of your images. And we have some tools in here that are not available in Photoshop that is going to make your job editing portraits a lot easier. Let's go ahead and grab one of my daughter here. And she has some blemishes on her forehead and her teeth are a little yellow. So if we want to fix that, all we have to do is come down here and select the face option. And then I can target the eyes, different parts of the eyes here and also the mouth. And if I want to whiten her teeth up a little bit, I can just go ahead and adjust this to the right. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at the before and after. So it did a pretty good job of whitening her teeth. We can also do some blemish removal here with the skin AI editing tool. And if we click on skin defects removal, it's going to automatically target those blemishes and remove them. It's not going to remove all of them, but you can see right here, she has a very large piece of dry skin. She's probably not gonna love me for that, but you can see it's starting to target that area and some of the other blemishes as well. But we can use our sliders here to begin targeting more of those blemishes and then it will begin fine tuning and removing those particular blemishes accordingly. I wouldn't go too high with this. It tends to look a little bit too fake. So I like to keep it right around 10 to 25, maybe 30. And then I'll come down here with the clone tool to fine tune or remove the rest of those blemishes. Of course, we have clone in Photoshop, but we do not have these skin AI and face AI tools as well as these other ones here as well. All right, so for complete editing tutorials with Luminar Neo, check out the playlist I've included in the description. All right, so this next alternative to Photoshop is not that well known, and you may be surprised that it's offered by the evil empire known as Adobe, but this option does not require a monthly subscription like Photoshop, and it comes with a 30 day free trial and is considered a light version of Photoshop and it's known as Photoshop Elements. So check out the free download link in the description to check it out and see a list of all the features available and then you can try it out for yourself. Now, another alternative to Photoshop is Affinity Photo, which just released version two, and it's a lot less expensive compared to the other two Photoshop alternatives. And for more information on Affinity Photo features, check out this video right here.